that help? Mm -hmm. Watersheds, Acts 2 through 5. Back in 1973, when we first came, there was a great influx into the church in Fukutau. The little building was jammed, there was lots of singing, and everybody was excited. But then a young man named Faleri died very mysteriously. He had a wife and a small child and had been one of the most dedicated Christians around. The death was a blow to everything. What did it all mean? People have been listening to what the pastor from Yonape was teaching. If you're a believer, you may die, but there's nothing to worry about because you go to heaven. Some people doubted the reality of that. Faleri would be a perfect test case, they reasoned. If anybody was a Christian, this young man had been. So after he was dead a while, they went to his grave and dug his body up. When they found the corpse still there, they said, it's all a lie. This event, the dying of a dedicated believer and the subsequent discovery of his body by those who weren't versed in the meaning of their faith, marked a time of attrition in the church. There was a significant dropping away. Of course, the kind of Christianity many of the people had idealized simply wasn't real. It promised everything and demanded nothing. The pastor stepped in and said, there's some misunderstanding here. It's incomplete. I said the Christian goes to heaven, and this man has. That body you found in the grave is like the snake of a skin when it molts. The body is there, but the real man has gone to heaven. But they didn't want to buy that. That wasn't part of their philosophy. With them, the body and the spirit were intertwined, especially in the bones. That's why they always used to carry human bones around. And when they found this young man's bones still in the grave, they figured he must still be there. That's what was happening when we first came. I suppose it was good. At least it clarified things a bit on both sides. Even the Christians came a little closer to reality and thought it would all be easy after all. Understanding had deepened since those early days. There was now more maturity than to dig up a body to see if it had gone to heaven. At the same time, the concepts were still complex, with potential for real unsettling and taken at face value of the demand. From Genesis to Acts, we had seen a steady increase of interest in the translation process. Starting with two at the table besides myself. Do you see him? Oh, no, I do. I tried to hold it there. Hello. Hi, handsome. Pretty good. You've had a busy morning too. Did you go? You went to um, Menards on the way to work. 